Let me address the power in the right questions. Now there is a master teacher that lived 2,000 years ago. When he was 12 years old, it is said that he was found among all the wise men asking questions, discussing, and sharing with them. And one day he was so engrossed in that kind of discourse that he was found lost in the marketplace and the mother was searching for him. Finally found him with anxiousness in her heart asking the question, where have you been? We've been looking for you. So instead of answering, he asked, don't you know I'm about doing my father's business? Now, later in his life, one of his father's business is to teach people the way of freedom, the way of happiness, and the way of success in life by using the methodology of asking questions. With the anchor name, ASK, A-S-K. A stands for asking, S stands for seeking, and K stand for knocking. But very unfortunately, in many parts of the world today, be it at home, be in a public place, be in school, having to ask questions is considered rude, inconsiderate, or even intrusive. Now many children today can only still be seen and not heard. Now, we are becoming fearful of asking questions. And the fewer questions we ask, the less we feel comfortable and the less we feel competent in asking the right questions. Now, let me share with you a short story when I was primary one, right up to primary three. And I remember I was asking a lot of questions when I was at that stage full of curiosity and wonderments of life. And when I was around age of nine, primary three, I remember one day I raised my hand and I asked a question. And immediately the teacher said, Michael, put down your hand, keep your mouth shut. And ever since then, I developed a shyness of fear of asking. And I remember the only time I ever asked was when I forced myself to raise my hand and I said, please teacher, can I go to the toilet? And that was because I was desperate. And I still remember that day, that teacher even shut me down and I had to pee on my pants. Now, this kind of inferiority, this kind of fear had been developed in me, so much so that I kept the question all inside for fear of being too inquisitive. Now, have you heard of someone like me who have the same experience? In fact, when we were young, we asked questions like, how big is this, the wheel? We ask questions when we sing the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Stars, and we wonder why the star twinkle, and we ask that question. Questioning, is a birthright of every child. It is natural. <clears throat> it is a creative force within them to want to know. There's a Chinese saying that says like this, share one, share one, yao share, it is yao one. What does it mean? It means that uh, the best education is through the form of asking questions through our curiosity. You see, Every child is curious in everything they see. They want to experience it, they want to touch it, they want to feel it, they want to know it. That is in a child. So somehow, that must be allowed to grow in them. I remember one day, a young girl asked me, Uncle, why is the sky blue? To be very honest, I didn't know the answer. And I believe 
if I stick up my tongue, it shows it turns blue too. Because there was a question asked by a very childlike behavior, uncluttered in her mind. And I appreciate it. I don't mind. However, as we grow up, we lost this childlike enthusiasm. Then, if that happened, we lost the art of asking. And it is our duty to recover this lost art of questioning. Now, why is question so important? Well, first of all, question make people think. Question also give us insight on our situation. Question also put people on the spot to think. And question give us the clarity of our own thoughts. Now most importantly, question challenges us on our assumptions. Most problems occur based on assumptions. Let me elaborate. We assume that other people like our taste and style. We also assume that our bit of half-truth is a fact. We assume that people understand just because we understood. Assumption is the mother of all scholars. This is spoken by Angela Don Hill. Question keep us from assuming that we already know what is best for us. Opening a sentence with who, what, why and where is the first step acquiring this new discovery. We have to be accustomed to asking questions because sooner or later we will ask the right and important questions. That question I believe is what I call the question of the human heart. Who are you? It's a question of identity. What can I do? It's a question of potential. Why am I here? It's a question of purpose. And where am I going? It's a question of vision. Question yourself sincerely and seriously because life within you is the answer you really need. We all do. Thank you.